Today we gonna show you all new 2024 Lexus Texas interior details and review, and explain the details of the car. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. New Lexus TX 2024 interior, inside. The cabin is similarly muted, and follows the same visual direction as the recently redesigned NX and RX. It doesn't seem as visually opulent as the QX60 or Genesis GV80 interiors, but it's certain to be executed in the same high-touch materials familiar throughout the Lexus lineup. The TX will also come with all of the automaker's latest infotainment and safety technology. A 12.3-inch cockpit and a 14-inch multimedia display are standard, with knobs retained for volume and HVAC controls, they work similarly to the screens in the NX and RX, with many voice control options and easy-to-navigate menus, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, are standard, while options include a head-up display, a 21-speaker Mark Levinson stereo, and customizable ambient lighting, Lexus's safety system plus 3.0, will also be standard on all trims including adaptive cruise control, lane tracing assist, forward automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection and a host of other systems. The TX interior is a bit on the plain side by luxury SUV standards, but it looks to be filled with the same high-touch materials as other Lexus models. It also uses the automaker's latest infotainment systems, more power to you. Under the hood, the Lexus TX will use powertrains related to those in the Grand Highlander, but not the exact same ones. The TX is a pricier proposition than its Toyota cousin, but you'll get more oomph in the bargain. The base model TX350 will use a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, making 275 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. Driven through an 8-speed automatic, a little more than the same engine in the Toyota, front-wheel drive is standard, with all-wheel drive, a WD, optional, and Lexus says it'll be good for up to 21 miles per gallon combined. Above that is the TX500H powered by a version of the 2.4-liter turbocharged hybrid engine, seen in the RX500H, and the Grand Highlander Hybrid Max, combined with its electric motor, it makes 366 horsepower and 409 foot-pounds of torque, and uses a six-speed automatic. The fuel efficiency here is a claim 24 miles per gallon, which is quite good for its size. If that bears out, at the top of the heap, and not shared with the Toyota, will be the TX550H+ a 3.5-liter V6 plug-in hybrid, with 406 system horsepower, driven through a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, and up to 30 miles per gallon combined, it'll also boast a 33-mile electric range on a full charge, both the TX500H and 550H+, come with standard AWD, and both suggest they'll be pretty good performers by the standards of 2.5-ton family SUVs. twenty twenty four Lexus TX. When and how much? Lexus hasn't yet revealed the TX exact pricing, but we suspect that it'll start in the mid fifty thousand dollars range, somewhere higher than the MDX and QX sixty, but not in the realm of big buck three rows, like the LX or the BMW X seven. The TX five hundred H is likely to be eight thousand dollars to ten thousand dollar pricier, near where the top trim QX sixty models top out. The plug-in hybrid will likely be even more expensive than that, and certainly beyond Mazda's CX-95, the all-new 2024 Lexus GX, is the Japanese luxury automaker's largest ever SUV, but in sharp contrast to its off-road capable LX and GX models. It's a family-minded three-row crossover, with highly efficient powertrains. Get ready to meet the largest ever Lexus SUV, after watching many competitors launch highly successful, 